Good morning or evening friends, it is I once again, Wise Guys, back to show you some matches for the Street Fighter. I know it's been a while, I've been working on some things, trying to make sure that I have some good surprises coming for you. Uh, if you've been paying attention, I'm trying to get ready to stream a little bit. I just want to make sure the environment that I'm in is not going to hinder it too much. I've, I've done some streaming before. I haven't really streamed anything that requires the connection to stay super stable. Um, most of what I've streamed so far is Far Cry, uh, which I love. Um, but the problem, the thing with Far Cry is if something happens with, on my end with the connection, then nobody else is suffering for it. Uh, so I'm really nervous about that. Um, but I'm checking it out, seeing what I'm able to do. Uh, I'm going to test it out a little bit more coming up a soon but um, as you can see things have not been going well for me I lost a, I want to say there was a couple of days where I just kind of lingered around the silver rank um, doing well not great but doing well uh, then all of a sudden one day I just I mean it was it wasn't even the killers. It was just uh, I wasn't I wasn't feeling well. I wasn't playing well. Uh, I made a lot of stupid decisions. It's it it wasn't smart to keep playing. Um, I can't remember who it was, but I, I talked to somebody one, or I heard from somebody one time that uh, if you see yourself getting on a losing streak, you should stop. Just stop, because what's going to end up happening is you're going to dig a hole rather rather than. Um, pull yourself out it's kind of like golf if you have a bad hole in golf you can't stop having a bad you know you, you can't just get up and leave in the middle of nine holes street fighter is a little different in that if you see yourself having a bad hole yo step away for a while <laughs> get your composure back come back this isn't tournament play you're good you'll be fine i guess in golf you can do that too that's why people drive around with four and five things of beer <laughs> I used to work at a golf club. Trust me. Trust me. People be getting lit out there. Either way, I uh, had a couple matches didn't go my way. So I am back in the Ultra Bronze range. Um, I went so far down. I think I went down to 1,400 something points at one point. Got low. We fell, we, we fell a long way down from our silver goal. But that's okay. That's absolutely fine. The goal was met. And that's not going to change the super goal. I don't want to let my circumstance make a change in how high I see myself. And I think that's a life thing, too. A lot of times what we tend to do is we set a goal. We meet our goal. When things don't work the way we want them to after we meet our goal, well, we'll, we'll just get back to where we are. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you can get back to where you were. But that's where you got complacent last time. Don't get complacent. Keep working and make sure your next goal, whatever you had your goal next time, is still going to be in effect. So I think my goal is still going to be super silver for the month of June. And the way I play, boy, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, but we're learning. Um, one of the things I've noticed a lot with a lot of better players is how they use their shorts and they confirm their hits into big damage. Most of the things that I do... The pokes and whatnot are ways to get damage, um, but they are long, slow hits that require you to kind of be on point at all times. You have to hit. For example, like there. Standing heavy. Standing heavy is great. Standing fierce punch, that's great. Problem with standing fierce punch, and right there I just dropped everything. That's another thing. Standing fierce punch is great. But the point is to poke it out and hopefully hit something. If it hits something, then you have uh, a way to go into more damage, which is fine. As long as that's not your entire game plan. Your entire game plan can't be keep fishing until you get it. You can't keep fishing until you get it. You, you got to at some point say to yourself, hey, I got to find a way to create. It. It's uh, the difference between... You know, the NBA Finals is going on now. That's how you see a lot of the better players, how they play. Everybody in the NBA can play. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in the NBA. 
But some people can get out there and create shots. Some people can get out there and make plays. Some people can find a way to make their buddy better. That's people always talk about Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen's a good player. Scottie Pippen's not Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan could find a way every time to make Scottie Pippen better. You could always see him where he needed to be seen. So, that's what we want to do. We want to be able to look at ourselves and find out how to make ourselves better. Find out where we can create opportunities. And your shorts, your um, light punches, light mediums, or light punches, light kicks, your uh, standing jab, your standing short, or not even standing, just your jabs and shorts. Those are going to be ways to get you better. And there will also be ways to... Uh, Extend your damage, get your combo better, make you think better, that kind of thing. And honestly, I get a lot better at that uh, playing um, King of Fighters, because King of Fighters is a lot of, you know, finding your hit confirms in that. That's why it's a little more difficult, because you don't have quite the the easy combo structure that you do in uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter is very friendly. <laughs> very friendly. Doing alright, though. Uh, this is a silver. Uh, we have trouble beating silvers when we're in silver, apparently. But right now, we're doing all right. I gotta stop relying on that jump shot, though. It, it comes out slowly and at a funny angle. And if I'm not paying attention, it usually causes more trouble than it does get me out of the situation. So. Yeah, you're not gonna get that grab again. There's a lot of stuff I saw during the game that I just didn't do anything about. Because I always thought about it the second after it happened. For example, almost every time he does V-Trigger, he walks forward and throws. Literally almost every single time. <laughs> so, ways to punish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna get that damage. Now, why did I use all my resources? Well, it's the final round. And this puts him in a dangerous situation where if I get one hit confirmed, I win. Now I'm in the same boat, so I gotta be careful. And I won that match right there. When I got that um, that standing jab, I should have gone ahead and confirmed into the Schneider, but I did not, because I'm too busy looking for other things. You always got to be prepared. But that's cool. We still got the win. We can keep on going to the next round with the Ken. Ken. Counterfeit King Ken. Like playing against Ken's. I'm getting a lot of practice against Ken and a lot of practice. Ooh, laggy. Uh, getting a lot of practice against Ken, getting a lot of practice against Ryu. Uh, for the record, this match was not one that I was streaming. So when you see lag, that is not because I was streaming. But, I mean, you've seen my videos enough to know that lag does exist, and I am very acknowledging that it exists. And nine times out of ten, like I always say, I try to blame lag on myself. That gives me less excuses. If I sit back and say, oh, well, it was laggy, and that's why I lost, and, you know, this and that and that. I'm so shocked that that right there does not give me a crush counter. Sorry, that hurt my soul. Uh, but if you sit back and say, oh, it was laggy, that's why I lost. You know, I, I would have won, but there was so much lag in the system, and ooh, ooh, so bad. That gives you a scapegoat. That gives you the opportunity to say, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong. Here, here's, what, here's what the real problem is. Even when you say, as I normally hear it, well, I mean, I'm not saying I didn't play per I'm not saying I played perfectly, but lag. You know what I'm saying? It was, if it wasn't for the lag, though, but I'm not saying I played perfectly. Yeah, you are. <laughs> or you're not saying you're playing perfectly, but what you're doing is you're still trying to find a reason that you lost other than you. You can't change lag in an online game. You chose the game. And that's fine. You chose the game. You chose to play online. That's fine. Take what comes with it, man. If I lost, I just lost. Now, if it's so bad and the lag is so heavy and you just couldn't play, don't play online. Or, don't complain about it. I mean, it just is what it is. I love Schneider. Because sometimes it does happen. Sometimes, like, I've, I've played matches where it gets so laggy that your opponent is basically teleporting on the screen. <laughs> he's on the right side. He looks like he's about to jump, and next thing you know, he's hitting you on the left side. What do you do? Nothing. Yep. Talking to the game. Yep. Lost that one. We'll be fine. Just a game against somebody that I can't even see. I think we're good. Came back and played a round two. 
after getting shellacked. He didn't get shellacked, really. He, he just lost. That was fine. Again, poking for the big stuff, and that's what gets me killed because... I think part of the reason is because I've been punished trying to fish for the jab. Oh, the, the throw. I feel like... Uh, what was it? Stunfest? <laughs> I feel like Stunfest. I can't remember that guy's name, man. But he was... He, he got Daigo in the corner and threw him like three or four times. He got Infiltration in the corner and threw him like three times. Infiltration was like, I'm having none of this. And then he got beat just because, you know, he finally stopped it. And it was still bad. Ibuki. Surprised I haven't seen more Ibukis. I've seen a lot of uh, Ken. I've seen a lot of Guile. I'm starting to see a little more, more Nash. And a lot of Ryu. A whole lot of Ryu. I didn't know y'all liked Ryu like that. <laughs> People always tell me he's boring. Y'all y'all don't think he's boring. You know who you are. By the way, that Cody, I think I said this in the stream, that I, the test stream that I put up, but that Cody came out, man. Not the, the character, but the, uh, the trailer. And he looks, looks good, looks good. I knew better than that. I really knew better than that. I could have done a lot better. But that's okay. Still learning. Yeep. Still keeping pressure on him. Oh, he got me. That's... See, if I had gone with the, the EX Schneider, that would have worked fine. But no, I want to get fancy with it. So that's alright. We're going to get him in round three. We're going to knock you down in round three. One and one, baby. One and one. For the record, he did not want to play round three. I guess I maybe should have kept that in there. You can tell if if it makes you feel better, you can tell people that I have backed out, but I did not back out on that. I was ready for round three, man. Especially on one one. I don't like one one. Nah, I want that last round. Even if you even if I barely won round one and you just murdered me on round two, I gotta learn something. Like I gotta see something. Whatever it whatever it is I lost between the first match and the second match, I gotta know what happened. <laughs> even if I see like because I've done that before against like super um, silvers or something like that. You play the first round, you play the first two rounds, and or you the first match and you win, and you're like, cool, good. You play the second match and he just, you see why they are high rank, and you're like, dang, what do I do? Third man, third match comes along, you don't quit that. Take it, man. Oh, I've been fishing for that all night. I don't, I never get it. Ah, uh, that, that is one of the reasons I like um, V-Trigger 2, though. V-Trigger 2 lets you take that crouching medium kick and create, uh, or with V-Trigger, and on a hit, you can get a hit into a super combo or all kinds of other stuff. It's, it's really good. Yeah, I'm sick of these promos you couldn't. This ain't the WWE. You're not Macho Man Randy Savage or Hulk Hogan brother. All my voices sound the same for wrestlers. <laughs> Nonetheless, we keep right on going. This is a fun match. I've been playing a couple of Rainbow Mikas lately. This was a pretty fun match. Um, mainly because I tried to watch some of the stuff that he did. He did a lot. He did that a lot. Um, I think that's his biggest problem. Or her. If Playing a better character or a better player, I don't think this particular fighter will be doing that well. He does a lot of stuff telegraphed. He repeats the same stuff a whole, whole lot. And it's not good. It's not good. Like, I feel like there are some people that are in silver that I feel like are about to blow up in gold and that type of thing. Like, they're just that much better. This guy, I didn't feel like he was that much better. I just felt like he was... Uh, he played his character better than I did at the time. But at no point did I feel like I just couldn't beat him. And he may have just been toying with me, just the way he played. Alright, so what we're going to watch for our overheads into command throws, or throws. We're going to watch for drop kicks into the combo. And I'm telling you this because I actually recognized it through the match. Drop kicks on block. All right, so here's the throw. Oh, and if, if I recall correctly, there was a lot of slide. This may be another person. I played another uh, Rainbow Mika <laughs> earlier today. 
and it was a lot of the same. There you go, the drop kick, and then going into the combo, but the Schneider got him. And that just sucks. <laughs> We're about to get banished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> There's only one thing we can do. Time has come. Play the gala music. <laughs> uh, still in it. You know, as long as you got health, you're still in it. And this is a brand new round. I got a. I like that as a, a hit confirm. Just that standing fierce. But it's not very good on block. And I tend to hope it hits and proceed like it did hit. And that's not good for me. Smart. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't be jumping in on me, man. There you go again. Drop kick blocked. Go into your combo. It's gonna hit. The thing is, I'm betting he can go into the combo, and if it doesn't hit, do command throw. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to test that out. But if it does hit, apparently I'm out of the range. Well, not always out of range. I think that actually can hit, particularly if he walks forward or uh, dashes off of a crush counter because you can al almost always dash after a crush counter yeah dash up throw baby once again hitting it like I made it and doing that Schneider I'm, I rely on that Schneider so much that when it misses it, it just feels bad and now I've wasted three bars I'm not really wasting I got two hits off of it I mean a 66% uh, hit rate is pretty good considering two bars May not have done enough as much damage as a super, but I mean, got me out of trouble. Stymied his offense. Got some damage in. Can't hate on it. Yeah, boy, what you want? Stay out the sky. Stay out the sky. Falk owns the sky. Falk, honestly, kind of feels like a less, um, honestly, a less viable Guile. Maybe that's why I have so much trouble with the Guile matchup. Um, she doesn't have a good overhead like Gal does. He's got his as part of a combo, target combo almost. Um, she her projectile doesn't go full screen the way his does, uh, but you know she has a really good uh, anti air. Honestly, she's probably more like Ed, but she's got a really good anti air. She can control the, the screen really well. She can control distance and pacing and spacing. All these things she she can do really well. If you take the time to do it. Sometimes you just don't want to though. You just want to get in there and maul. <laughs> and I don't think her normals are. You know what? I take that back. Gal is just way better. <laughs> like if you have the cho choice between playing Gal or Falk. The main difference you're looking at is. Do you want to hold a button for your projectile. Or hold back and then put an input. That's what you're essentially looking at. And if you're asking yourself that question. You're missing the best part of Street Fighter, which is the normals, your combos, um, your, your your hit confirms, your spacing, all that kind of stuff. And I think Gal just has a better way with all of that than Falk does. See? You're going to see that a lot. Well, you probably have seen that a lot. No, not three times. Just so disrespectful. These silver people so disrespectful. I'm about to go Birdman. Put some respect on my name. Hey. Put some respect on my name. Hey. No. Get shot at. Get shot at. I was hoping he jumped right there. That's why I kind of got to that distance. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Gave him a chance to get back in the fight. Could have just jabbed there, but sometimes you just get nervous and start mashing on throw. Is it okay to say that? Is it okay to say that sometimes you get nervous and smash on throw? I hope so. Ugh. Yeah, girl. Oh, some really good damage. Throw him in the corner. He's in my world now. Yeah. <gasps> I'm a combo dropper. Thought I was good. But now I know I'm not. Baby, I'm a combo dropper. I wonder if I could do that and then instead of blocking, go straight into EX uh, Schneider. Because it's got the invincibility, I think. Oh no! 
Oh, we're still alive. No, I know what you're going to do. Again, if you keep doing the same thing so many times, people are going to reach you. But that's it, man. We're still doing all right. We got a little more work to do to get back to silver. We'll keep trying. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Peace out.